nose anything off yet, darling? <laughs> Here, let's warm you up a little bit. So, what do you think our chances of getting to Yamantau alive are? It's the only thing on my father's mind. How to earn his forgiveness, get back to Metro and his old life, the life you had always been running from. And to think, I never believed you. And now I'm looking at this fog, thinking it could actually be hiding our new life from us. By the way, we should be approaching the bridge soon. Damn it! A campfire! People! There are people there! Hit the bridge! Shots fired! Four bogies on a trolley! Are you alright, Artyom? Damn! They pierced the cylinder! How bad is it? Can we move? No, we're stuck! Oh, shit! Damn fog. Seems we ran through someone's roadblock. Who was it? Any uniforms? None. They were wearing rags. Just some old farts. Old farts, huh? That's just the perimeter guard. They could have put anyone there, even women and children. Do you really think we found them, Colonel? Well, we can't be sure. I was expecting to run into them much earlier. The trolley is headed towards the bridge. Some fortifications there. This looks peaceful. A village and a church on the water. We need intel. Here, Artyom. I put a mark on your map. Get there and find out what you can about that bridge. Taking a prisoner would be ideal. Anna, you cover him. Yes, sir. May I go with Artyom too? Back no. Until we figure out our situation, you are not to take a step away from the Aurora. These two can handle themselves just fine. Yermak! Let's go, When can you get the Aurora running again? I don't know yet. I'm gonna check on that cylinder, but a full day at least. I see. Get to it then. Spartans, let's prepare the Aurora for a defensive action. Stepan, Damir, get the perimeter. I'm on yes, sir. Duke, I need you to recon the immediate area. Got that, sir. Idiot, you give him cover from the Aurora. Yes, sir. Sam and Alyosha, stay in reserve. Yes, yes sir. sir. Wait, am I not trustworthy anymore? I tell you if it was the case, Sam. Now, cut the chatter. Artyom, don't forget your backpack. It's a new model. A portable workshop, so to speak. The manual is inside. It doesn't come with crafting materials, though, so keep an eye out for those. Let's move out, Artyom. Just be careful out there. Sure thing. I gotta say, that was one flimsy roadblock. And those guys, well, they didn't look like army men at all. Just old men. Be careful out there. Remember, most of the country has been destroyed or occupied. Even those who speak our language might be enemies, by conviction or out of fear. Got it? Do you hear that bell? We must have given them a good scare. Maybe they served the enemy, enslaved or something. Going down. What was that? Could you check it out?
I took a look around while you were inside. That electric tower there looks like a perfect sniping position. Let's go. Look, a rabbit! Okay, Artyom, I'll climb up there while you take the boat to the church. I'll call you when I'm settled. Salantius has already started. Just enter the temple and see the light of truth. We are a peaceful lot.
train. He's here to save us. I can't believe this. I had all but lost hope. We're not from here either. Silantius locked us up here a year ago. Yes, the bridge dwellers won't even talk to heretics. But I'll tell you everything I've seen Our in this truck. place all that year. Under the cover of fog. Oh, it's the bridge guard. Silentia has fooled them just like the locals. But unlike them, the bridge guard have guns. Run! There's a way out down here and there's a boat at the dock. We also have one, but it's too small for all of us. Our job, she's alive. Get to the boat. We'll rescue her later. Don't worry. Go! lost hope. We're not from here either. Silantius oh, locked us up here a year ago. Yes, the bridge dwellers won't even talk to heretics. But I'll tell you everything I've seen Our in this truck. place all that year. Under the cover of fog. Oh, it's the bridge guard. Silantius fooled them just like the locals. But unlike them, the bridge guard have guns. Run! There's a way out down here and there's a boat at the dock. We also have one, but it's too small for all of us. There, this is I can't cover you when you're inside. I'm changing position to meet the woman and child. I know you can handle this just fine.
What's going on? Oh, I don't feel right. Oh, my God. Starfish, protector of the people. The heretic? Ha! Well, just, just shoot me. Come on! I wish you'd just shot me. They say you worship the devil. Is that true? Will you teach me? I'd make a good apprentice. A really, really good one. Come on, teach me.
It's a shame you couldn't get away quietly, without bloodshed. They're bound to hate us even more now. Ah, oh, well. Artyom, Katya, and Nastya are with me now. See you aboard the Aurora. Check the map. Looks like you can row straight to it from there. What the fuck was that? A whale? It's fucking huge! The old man sent me out as a forward sentry. Told me that I was to sit tight and under no circumstances look for any action. So I just had a front row seat watching you there. And holy shit, you did not disappoint. Anna has already reported on the cult. How about we trade places? I'd hate to come back to Moscow without even firing once. I was trying to win a girl over from one trader. Tough luck there. Why does everybody else get fun missions? The colonel does criticize you and all, but he gives you all the best action. Is this his way of showing affection or trying to get you killed? But I have to say it's unfair. I've been dragged out of Moscow and for what? Stalking the furnace and sitting in a bog with a dumb spyglass. Here though we do have a chance of finding some loot. There is this plane there. Just leave something for me. I'll have to stay longer, I suspect.
Tim, back from the abyss of NATO You're occupation. <laughs> Impressive after the horrors Duke told us about. Let's go. Dad's talking to Katya right now. But there is one more question I need to ask. But of course. What do you know of the occupation forces? Huh? I'm sorry, I don't quite get what you... So, you've never seen any foreign army in this area? No, I haven't seen any army. But we haven't really been to any important places. I see. Hmm. Artyom, a moment. Thank you, Artyom. Artyom, stop by my desk once you're done talking to the old man. I've got something for you. Great job saving them, Artyom. Katya here has provided us with vital information. A mechanic called Crest is hiding in the port. His help is required if we're to fix the Aurora in the foreseeable future. Yeramak can't handle the repairs alone. So once you're ready, go to the port and invite Crest to join us. And then get back ASAP. We'll have to decide what to do about the fanatics on that bridge. Now we know for sure that the bridge is in working order. They crossed it last year when they got here. Well, at least some things are clearer now. But still, so many questions. <sighs> there might not even be any enemy forces around here at all. They probably get us in the key regions only. <sighs> in any case, we'll learn everything once we reach Yamantau. From the top source. The Moscow government is essentially a local council, to put things in perspective. So, now we just need to figure out how to cross this goddamn bridge. Damn. What do I even do about this? I could replace the cylinder, but there's just no spare. I've got to fix this one. And I don't even know where to start. It uh, usually takes a whole workshop to fix things like that. So you're going to the port to look for that mechanic? Uh, please, do your best. Otherwise, we might as well get used to this place. Hi, Artyom. Hello again, Artyom. You did great out there. Or so everyone says. <laughs> in the meantime, we have dug in here. We've been waiting for the occupying forces. But so far, we have only seen winged and four-legged ones. <laughs> Our ecology seems to sit badly with them. <laughs> Some bandit-looking characters in the distance, too. So, Artyom, are you going to the port? There's nobody there. At least, I haven't seen any normal people. But there sure are mutants, so you'd better take care. Take care, Artyom? The Scourge of the Dark Ones? <laughs> Go get them all, Artyom. They'd better hope they can run fast enough. Tom, thank you. And your wife is great. She's kind and really strong. Thank you, Antiana. There you go, Artyom. As I always said, you lucked out with me. We all lucked out with Anna. She's a total dead eye. Now I only wish your mom could come with us too. With a real medic, we'd become unstoppable. <laughs> <laughs> Katya, Nastya, come have some tea. Don't be shy. Thank you. So, Katya, where are you uh, from? The Southern Ural. A couple of years ago, we heard there was this great place on the Volga, so we made the journey. Who can have known that fanatics were in control now? And they say this place used to be great. Did you come with your husband? There were 15 of us, but now only Nastya and I are alive. I, I'm sorry. 
Hey, why are you so gloomy? Don't you like the tea? I do. Oh, when the gargoyle attacked, Nastya lost her teddy. The beast carried it away. Oh, it must have thought it was alive. Oh, don't you worry. We'll find your teddy. Huh, we call them demons in Moscow. And you call them gargoyles. Yes, where did those things crawl out from, I wonder? Well, there's radiation, chemical weapons and stuff. Nature just went strange. Yeah, the planet's been trashed. No wonder Silantius had such a hold over everyone here, with people seeing things like that every day. Poor fools. They live in darkness and die just like that, ridden with disease. I'm a trained nurse, but Silantius wouldn't even hear of me treating anyone. He said God claims his own. He only cares about feeding their bodies to that fish once they die. He says it's their sure way into heaven. I tried doing something to help them, but no, it's a sin. And then he just locked us up in that tower. And somehow a stupid flashlight made it worse. Uncle Crest gave me the flashlight, but Silantius got mad and smashed it. He did, and then he cursed Crest, so the man had to hide in the port. It's a basement lair, so Silantius can't get him there. He also wanted to make Mommy marry him, but she didn't want to. He's old and nasty. Ah. Yes, the Gospel of the Damn Fish says nothing about marriage. I was lucky to protect my daughter. That crazy creep, he's just so... Will you take us away from here, please? Of course we will. Don't you worry. How do you like the backpack? Is it comfortable? Can you operate stealthily with it? I have a present for you here. A Tihar rifle. Ring any bells? It's pneumatic, but it still pecks a wallop. Plus, making bullets for it is easy as pie, even in the field. Just remember to keep that pressure up, otherwise you might as well be spitting him out yourself. Other than that, it will never fail you. I did my best. So, bear it with honor. <laughs> and don't forget to drop by from time to time. I have a few ideas for improving it.
Arjum, set out for the port once you've rested. I'd really like to talk to that mysterious man.
You pretty amazing, братуха. That was crazy. Блин, those mutants are pretty hardcore. The villagers I never have a chance against them. You, you just cut through them, блин. Well, it's pleasure to meet you. Name's Christ, by the way. Are you from the train? Bet the locals wouldn't even talk to you guys. <laughs> Open fire right away, didn't they? <laughs> of course, those dumb bastards. I've been here long enough to know the drill. They have a cult over there. The dumbasses are hung up on technology having destroyed the old world. So they don't exactly take kindly to smart guys here. And me? Well, they were just gonna lock me up until I agreed to go fight those electrical demons of theirs to absolve my sins. Because I was in cahoots with Satan, apparently, blyad. <laughs> Some Satanist I am. <laughs> I've been fixing engines and trading all my life. Now, now I'm moving to the east. Блин, I'm sick of this part of country. There's just nothing to do here anymore. The cities are gone. Bandits, beasts all around. Lots of space across the Volga, though. Plenty of opportunity. So, I came here with my rail car full of trading goods, hoping to make a few sales on the way east. What a fool I was. I was lucky to get out alive. <laughs> anyway, since you've arrived, I've been thinking of this little plan I had, never had a chance to pull off alone, but since you guys are also going east... Now, judging by what I could see with my binoculars, it's a miracle your engine is still running. Oh, by the way, take the binoculars. I'll show you where everything is. Look at the bridge first. See that section on top? It should lower if the emergency mechanism still works. Katya from the church should know better. I've never been to the bridge myself. There, to the right, that huge hangar. That's a terminal, blit. The cult is considered a holy place. Covered it all in graffiti, schmafiti, their <laughs> tsarfish live there, you know? Stupid bastards. Even further right, see the building near all those carriages? Used to be a train depot. There are some bandits there now, but the place itself ain't bad. Oh, the area nearby isn't too bad either. There's a good hunting and stuff. I set up several safe camps around there. If you find them, you could rest, fix your equipment. <laughs> Unless you prefer spending nights at an open campfire. Now, come on, let me show you my home now. Here's a bed, so if you're tired, my home is your home. I made a workbench to tinker on. If you need ammo or grenades, there's some uh, raw materials here, so help yourself. You can have anything you like here. Can't carry all this shit anyway. <laughs> Come on, don't be shy. Oh, anyhow, gotta tell you, this isn't just a pretty face. I've got a whole lot of knowledge stored up in here. Look at these hands. They know how to fix stuff. You'll never have second thoughts about picking me up. Let's try some smokes from the villagers before the assholes chase me away. Buddy. Now, you could take the zip line down. Just hook up and away you go. Dumb cretins didn't like my light. You know, I've been bent from the village and the bridge ever since.
Artyom, where's Anna? Has she been found? But why? She didn't just sink into the ground. I hope Anna is alright. Oh, don't you worry, Katya. Our people will find her soon. I hope no one else finds her first. Well, I definitely wouldn't worry about that. Anna sure knows how to take care of herself. Still, I can't really keep calm, you know? She did so much for us. Everything will be fine. Isn't that so, Artyom? Well, you see now? Artyom is on the case, so it's definitely going to be fine. Yes, of course. <sighs> I didn't ever pray much, really, but now... It could be anything. There was a chemical weapons dump around here. That's why there are so many mutants around, and why the soil's so bad. <sighs> At least we can breathe, I guess. Yes, hello, Artyom. Perhaps you can find Anna. We are all quite worried about her here. Sure, she can take care of herself, but... I don't know. I don't mean to worry you, but you need to keep safe, too. Don't get lost out there, okay? Artyom, found my daughter yet? No! What are you doing here, then? Go find her! Demir and Sam should be there soon. Leave no stone unturned. If you don't find Anna in half an hour, expand the search area! And remember, if anything should happen to Anna, I'll never forgive you. You dragged her into this charade with the jammer and that escape. Why are you even still here, standing around with me? Don't you give a damn about her? <laughs> <laughs> 